What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are back with some more Indiana Hoosier football. And today we're going to be taking on Northwestern. Northwestern beat us a couple of years ago, man. Stopped us from getting a perfect record. A perfect record for this season is already out of the window, thanks to the maze and blue. Those dogs from Michigan, man. But we still got a lot to play for. We are still a top 10 team, ranked at number 6 after a win versus Michigan State. The Big Ten play has has just gotten, I mean, just it's the, the, the consistency of this conference is, has really shocked me. I thought that we might like dominate this conference, and we have one Big Ten title at the Big Ten title, but could we not win the Big Ten title this year? I mean, there's still a lot that we got to play for, still a lot that other teams in the Big Ten have to play for, and it makes me want to kind of stick with Indiana a little bit longer, but I did promise you guys a series where we would change schools throughout, so I may kick off a new series and tie that one with this one. Haven't quite decided uh but i'm i'm kind of leading towards that way because i did not think i would have this much fun with indiana recently my dynasties have gone about six seven years and we're kind of right at that time frame uh but we still got a lot to accomplish here with this school man so anyways man we're gonna be taking on northwest making the ball further up to the 24 yard line washington this man can scoot he has some decent arm talent as well and he's gonna pick up a gain of seven second down and three they fake it Washington has all day in the pocket, throws this one deep. It's going to be complete today. Who is gone? See you later, he says. Touchdown, Wildcats. And just like that, we are down by seven. So Parham trying to get upfield, and he's going to get stopped before he can get to the 20-yard line. So first and 10 from the Indiana 18. Give it to Larkins, who works his way upfield for a gain of eight. He gets to carry again, falls forward after getting hit, and falls forward for a first down. Adams looking downfield for McCoy, who cannot make the catch on that pass play. Second down and 10, give it to Larkins, right up the gut. Feed this man, and he's going to pick up a gain of nine right there. Third down and one, we give it to Parham, and he's going to pick up the first down by an elbow or two. So from the 41, now Adams over the middle, fires it, caught by Mahler, and we are inside Northwestern Territory at the Wildcat 33-yard line. Adams under some pressure, throws it to the end zone, and it's going to fall incomplete. Second down and 10. Give it to Walker. Walker is going to pick up a first down, and this running back can really get the job, though we might have to feed him a little bit more often. Might just have to run the ball a little more often. In our couple of last games, we have thrown the ball quite a lot, even though Adams' this receiving court is solid. We might want to get back to basics. Adams looking downfield, throws it. It's going to be caught by Nicholson, and that's going to be enough to move those chains in front of 12 yard. Let me give the ball to RJ Larkins, makes a couple of Wildcats miss, and he's in the end zone. So what a run. This game is now tied, 7 all. Hopefully we can take the lead if we can get a stop right here. Washington almost throws a pick. That would have been a stop that we needed. They're going to fake the run to the fullback. Now they're going to go with the option the other way. It's a little triple option action. And Clark is going to get dropped down after a game of seven. They give it to number seven. He's going to pick up the rest. Move those chains for the Wildcats. Second down, first down, excuse me, from the 28-yard line. They get the ball to Clark yet again. And this time Howard, Howard Parker is a little bit shaken up. Second down and five. To the outside they go, running with power and purpose, and they're going to pick up another first down on the ground. Washington looking to the left side. That pass will be broken up. Second down and 10. Washington going to roll out. Washington's going to keep it, and he's going to fall forward for a first down. So our defense right now just receiving body blow after body blow. Hopefully we can protect our midsection, not get worn out or beat up. Robbins is going to pitch it. The ball is loose, and somehow they recover it. So the razzle-dazzle almost ends in a turnover for uh, Northwestern, but they do recover the fumble. And then Washington is going to use his feet to pick up a first down. Remember, we have a hard time stopping teams that like to run the football. That pass nearly intercepted. But when they do pass it, we got to convert on these INT opportunities. That pass will fall into the So third down and 10. We send a four-man rush. Not going to get there. Quick pass to the left side is dropped. And we are going to force them to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and it's going to be pushed just a little bit outside. So 7-7 seven, seven still to score. Dan Adams looking downfield. He's going to roll left, still rolling. Throws it deep downfield, and that pass will fall incomplete. Larkins, he's going to get the carry, and Larkins is going to pick up a gain of one. 
third down and nine for Adams. He fires it. That pass caught by Stewart, and he's loose. He's going to rumble all the way inside the 35, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. So we still got the football shotgun formation. Adams under pressure, and he's going to get dropped to kick off the second quarter of play. Right tackle beat up and dropped. Remember, we have a right tackle that is suspended for the next couple of games. And the pressure might lead to that errant throw. They get the INT and Northwestern has the football going back the other way. Clark, he gets the carry for a gain of just three. Washington, he's going to keep it. He's going to weave through traffic. Gets away from Smith and brought down by the shoelace. Bryant gets credited with the stop. They run the ball with the big fullback and Brown is there for the stop. Loss of one. So second down and 11. That pass caught by Ingram, but not going to go anywhere fast. to get one yard, and that's it. So back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. Double coverage, and the pass is caught by Brown. Touchdown, Northwestern. And they're back on top. So 14 to 7 is going to be the score. Down by 7. Obviously, we have got to keep pace with the squad. And there goes a fumble on special teams. But we are there with McCoy for the recovery. So we're going to start things off on our own 13. Get the ball to Walker. I was praising him earlier, but right now he's getting shut down. We're going to run the ball with Larkins, and he gets hit in the backfield. And now we're looking at third down in forever. Adams under pressure again. Drops it off to Larkins. That's the only play that he can make. Larkins fighting for every inch, but gets stopped well shy of the first down. So Northwestern takes back over, and their ground game is impressive. Breaking two tackles. Is Clark, and that's going to result in a first down. Washington under pressure, and down he goes. I believe that was Daly with the sack. Second down of 15. That pass going to be caught by Day, and Day has himself a first down. First down and 10. Washington throws it to the right, rolls right, throws it back to the left. Caught by Ingram. He gets out of a tackle with some force. And they're up to the 14-yard line. Move those chains. Clark and try to weave through traffic. Smith, our second string inside linebacker, is there for the stop. They run the ball Clark again. He gets shut down. So third down and four. They go with the ground game again. And yet again, we have a hard time stopping them. That's going to be a first down. So we send a blitz. Not going to quite get there. And the pass was on time and on target. They beat the blitz. And they're up by 14. So from our own 17-yard line, Adams, under some pressure, our backup right tackle is getting absolutely destroyed this half. He's going to pick up 7-0, talking about Dan Adams using his feet. Rolling out as Adams again, going to use his feet again, and he's going to pick up a first down, looking like a young Andrew Luck. They fake the run. Adams throws it to the right side, threw it in a tight window, Stuart with the catch, and we're inside Northwestern Territory at the Wildcat 46-yard line. I'm going to find McCoy, the big tight end. Making the catch over the middle. Up to Northwestern's 32-yard line. Looking for Jones. That pass caught, but not in bounds. Second down and 10. Direct snap to Larkins. Can't get out of that tackle. And it's a gain of just one. 23 seconds to work with. Adams rolling out. Throws it to Stewart. Makes the catch. And he gets dropped at the 19. Now Adams going to roll right. Looking towards the end zone. Caught by Stewart. Touchdown, Indiana. And we cut the lead down to seven before that half is up. So 21-14 is the score. Parham from just inside his own goal line. Makes a man miss. Racing upfield. And we cross the 25. We're going to start from the Indiana 28-yard line. Larkin's going to try to turn the corner. He does. And he's going to pick up a gain of four up to the 32. They send a four-man rush. Not going to get there. McCoy had it, but the hit knocks the ball loose. Now Adams looking for his man, and that pass is going to be broken up by Smith. We're looking for Jones, but that pass will fall incomplete. Nearly intercepted by Buchanan, but that pass will fall incomplete. So they run the ball again. Huge hit laid on the tailback by Henry, his fourth stop of the ball game. Washington rolling out, throws it over the middle to Day, who was left wide open to split our defense, our zone defense. And that's going to result in the first down. They run the ball again. We're there for the stop. Gain of just two. On the 42-yard line, four-man rush. Got there just a second too late. Couldn't make the play on the football. And that's going to be another first down on this drive. They throw it over the middle. Caught by Brooks. And they're going to be inside the 20. Second down and five. From then he had a 19-yard line. And there's Greenwood with the stop. Third down and one. They fake the run. Washington throws it to the end zone. And it's going to be dropped. Thank goodness. So they are in field goal range. It's going to be a 32-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is going to be good. 
So Northwest is now up by 10. So definitely not in the most ideal situation. Adams looking downfield, throws it to the left side, and that pass will fall incomplete. Second down and 10. Now going to set up a little screen pass to Larkins, who was split out into the slot. And that goes absolutely nowhere. This is a dreadful play right there. Adams looking downfield. Has Jones, but Jones stopped on his route. And that's going to be intercepted by Griffin. And now they have a chance to increase their lead with good field position. They throw it to Brown, who makes the catch and has a first down defense. We really got to hold this team to a field goal or get a turnover. I'll take that, too. They throw the ball to the flat and Buchanan laying the lumber. Washington. He throws it quickly. That pass will be dropped. So now it's going to be third down and six. They run the ball, and that's going to go nowhere as Booker is there for the stop. But they are on field goal range, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. So the turnovers are starting to pile up for Indiana, and we're down by 13. Without those turnovers, I mean, we could have the lead. Who knows? Larkins to the outside. He's going to pick up a solid gain of nine up to the 29. Now we give it to Parham. He's loose, and he's going to pick up a gain of around 12. So that's a big time carry right there. We're up to the 41 yard line. Adams looking for Stewart. Makes the catch and we're in enemy territory at the Northwestern 39 yard line. They send a four man rush at us. We throw the ball to the right side. Caught by McCoy. Should be enough for a first down and it is. So now up to the Northwestern 29. There goes Larkins. Runs a man over. Gets down the sideline with speed. Touchdown, Indiana. So we are now down by just seven. Our star tailback gets us back in the ball game. Washington throws it to the left side. That pass will fall incomplete. So we could really use a stop here from our defense. They're going to run the ball. Buchanan is there. He can't quite bring him down. But then the rest of the gang does. Third down and seven. Washington drops back. He's the impact player on offense. He's going to die for the first down but not quite get there. He got stopped by a roadblock named Buchanan. So Lark is going to try to turn the corner. He does. And Lark is might be trying to put this team on his back. We're going to get the ball to Parham. Give Lark a little bit of a breather. And he's going to pick up just two, maybe three. And that's going to take us to the fourth quarter. So we are down by six. Adams has the football. Rolling now. Has Jones stricken down the middle of the field. He makes the catch. And in one flick of the wrist, we are back in Northwestern territory at the Wildcat 42. We get the ball to Walker. And Brian Walker picks up around eight, making nine from the 33. Now give it to Walker again. He's inside the 20. He's inside the 10. Fights his way all the way inside the five. So first to go from the four. We get the ball to Larkins. Gets met in the backfield. Loss of one. Second down to go. Going to run the option. And Adams is going to keep it. And Adams has a touchdown for Indiana. And we just took the lead by one. Washington under pressure. And down he goes daily with the stop. Washington to the outside. He's going to throw that thing to Brooks, and Brooks makes the catch. And that's going to result in a gain of what, maybe three? Washington fires it. That pass is caught, but that's not going to be enough for the first down. So Larkins, he gets the carry, trying to work his way upfield. Goes nowhere, loss of one. Looking downfield, under some pressure, they send a blitz. So a six-man pass rush forces an incompletion. So we're four for seven on third down. Can we make a five for eight and be great? The answer is no. So he gives the ball right back to the Wildcats. Washington, he has. He's going to try to tuck it and run it. Has a lane. Going to get brought down and have a first down. Up to the 36 now. They fake the run. Washington over the middle. Nearly intercepted by Buchanan for the second time today. Second down and 10. They run the ball and there goes Brown with another stop. Now it's going to be third down and four. They're going to run the ball again. And this time he's going to go nowhere. Get off the field. And we take over with just around two minutes to go. But poor Ham is in the ball game. We give it to him and he fumbles. So three turnovers now. Northwestern has not turned the ball over not once. They're down by just one. They're in field goal range already. Can we hold them to that field goal or again get the turnover? I'll gladly take that. That first pass caught. Second pass also caught. Brooks headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Northwestern. So they're going to go for two. Washington fires it. That pass should have been caught, but it's not caught. And it's a five-point lead for Northwestern. Throwing this thing to the left side. That pass going to be complete for Indiana as Mullen makes the catch. Second down and four. Adams will try to set up a screen pass. The blocking isn't really there. Larkins breaks one tackle, tries to break another, but goes backwards, and he pays the price as he's a little bit shaken up. So Adams is going to roll out. 
Throws it to Stork, makes the catch, and he's loose. Up to the 30, crosses the 40, inside Northwestern territory, and drag down at the Northwestern 32. So Adams drives back the pass, rolls to the left side, looking for McCoy, who can't make the catch, and he should have made that catch. Second down and 10, Adams drives back, throws it to Nichols, and he gets rocked, and the ball is going to come loose. And that's turnover number four. Again, Northwest has not turned the ball over now once. We still have all three timeouts, so we could possibly get a step, but we won't have too much time to work with. They're going to run the ball. Clark is loose. Not a man in front of him, just blades of grass. And he's going to run through those and get to the crib. So now it's a two-possession game. He thinks he's going to win the Heisman. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Crazier things have happened. Maybe he will. So we're down by two scores. We're going to heave this one deep down. Feel like it got to Jones' hands, but he couldn't haul it in. Second down and 10. Adams rolling out. Throws it back to the right side. Larkins breaks the tackle, but his momentum carries him out of bounds. Third down again. Adams looking downfield. He's going to keep it, it looks like. He's been running so much this game. Maybe he's a new man. I don't know, but he does pick up the first down. Adams looking for McCoy. McCoy gets rocked, drops that one. That's kind of understandable, but the other one's not so much. Now Adams throws this one deep downfield, and that pass overthrown, and it's third down and 10. Six seconds on the clock. Rolling out, throwing it, caught by Stewart. Stewart got to run to the end zone, not going to get it. Happen gets tackled at the 19. The Hoosiers faithful, can't believe it. Neither can I. For the first time in, I want to say, three seasons, we have lost two games in the regular season. We have lost two games in Big Ten play. The only time that we lost two games in the past couple of seasons was one in the regular season, maybe one in the bowl game. Nah, that's not going to happen today. So this season has gone in a direction that I have not, that I did not expect. Maybe you guys maybe saw it coming. I really did not we got to figure something out. Our run game has been good, but not like explosive in years past. I want to say that Walker sometimes gives us our best chance to run the football successfully. Um, so, yeah. And I think that I got to blame myself a little bit that trying to get these guys trophies and Heisman winners and stuff, I haven't done what was best for the team. Because sometimes your impact players aren't always your best players, even though I love Larkins, obviously. Uh, but sometimes Walker is that guy. Uh, yeah. But anyways, man, we got a lot of work to do still. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.